Marcos Gomez runs his cafe alongside boutique hotels right across the beach. But it's not always easy. There is racism here. They want to paint it as if there is no problem, but it exists. He says it can come from foreign tourists, but that it's also rooted in schools and entrenched in Costa Rican psyche. According to the UN, Afro-descendants in the country have much higher rates of poverty, unemployment and homelessness than the rest of the population. Roughly 8% of Costa Ricans self-identify as black or Afro-descendant. That's more than 300,000 people. The majority live on the Caribbean coast. This is Old Harbor or Puerto Viejo. The town was founded by black immigrants from the Caribbean 150 years ago. Amid a wave of development and tourism, local black residents are fighting to defend their culture and identity. Edwin Patterson's family has lived here for six generations. His restaurant is the busiest in town, and it's covered in artwork celebrating black identity. He says it's his way of uplifting the local black community. If my community is okay, my restaurant going to be okay. If my community is okay, I will be okay. If my community is okay, the sixth generation will be okay, and the seventh, and the eighth. Patterson's restaurant is an institution. So is the Wallaba Parade. It's been held yearly for the last decade, celebrating the region's black heritage with a week of music, dance, and festivities. We cannot forget our roots. We can't forget our traditions. We can't forget where we came from. What we are today is thanks to our ancestors. Earlier this year, former Vice President Epsi Campbell said Costa Rica had taken steps to address racial disparities, but there is still a long way to go. Meanwhile, black communities along Costa Rica's Caribbean coast are fighting in their own way, dancing to defend their past and their present. Michael Fox, TRT World, Puerto Viejo, Costa Rica.